Hello YouTube, it is Everything Epan here, and in this video we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Mac OS X Snow Leopard in VirtualBox. Um, I had done a video tutorial a long time ago about uh, installing it in VMware. This is a, a different type of file. I had not done a VirtualBox tutorial before since for some reason I could not get it to work, uh, but this one should give you guys good results if you tried it and also did not have any luck. Um, and then maybe also do a updated VMware tutorial here too for it. Uh, so that way um, can assist on that as well. Um, but you will need the following in the description here. Uh, if you do not have it, VirtualBox should be your first thing uh, that you would need. You can download it from there. Uh, download page if you need it. The second link is going to be a uh, link to download the iBoot ISO. This is for Mac OS X Snow Leopard only. Um, this is from the Tony Mac X86 website. Uh, you will need to register an account uh, to get the ISO, but shouldn't uh, be too much of an issue. Just register with an email address. It'll send you a verification, and your account will be created, which will give you the permission to download it. And then the third link is going to be the ISO for uh, Snow Leopard. It should be a Snow Leopard install ISO. Uh, so that will be the third link in the description, and it will give you a download for that. Uh, once you have all those, we can go ahead and open up VirtualBox. And then we're going to go ahead and just create a new virtual machine here. And on this, we're going to type in uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard for just the name that we're going to call it. Um, you can call it whichever you wish. Um, and then just make sure on the version here that it's selected to Mac OS X Snow Leopard 64 bit. Um, once you have all that, go ahead and hit next. Uh, we'll say that the recommended size is, uh, for the RAM is 2 gigs. Um, just because I'm able to, I will update it to 8 gigs. But uh, usually, Four gigs is most suitable, uh, helps it run a little better than two, but I think you can still get by with leaving it at two gigs. But um, certainly if you have the capability to up it, you certainly should. Um, go ahead and hit next, and then we're gonna create our virtual hard drive here. Um, so on this screen, you just pick whichever file type you wish. Um, usually I just leave it at the default of VDI, but uh, can pick whichever one, hit next, and then uh, can choose either between dynamically allocated or fixed size, doesn't matter whichever you would prefer. Hit next, and then this is where it'll create our uh, portion or how much you want to dedicate to it. So it defaults it at 20. I usually just update it to 25, but if you have at least 20 to 25, that should be fine. Uh, but you can increase it if you wish. So we will create, and it will create a virtual machine. And then uh, what we're going to want to do is make sure just to have it highlighted here, um, and then we'll go into the machine settings. And there's going to be a few things we'll need to update in here. So uh, first, we'll go to the system tab, uh, uncheck the floppy disk, and you can uh, arrow it down below these two. And then you'll also want to check enable EFI on this. Um, and then everything here should be okay if you leave it, um, but just make sure those are unchecked. Go ahead and do, go to display next. Increase your video memory size all the way up to 128 megabytes and enable 3D acceleration. And then go to storage, and then this is what we're going to want to insert our uh, ISO file, the iBoot ISO. So go ahead and go to the empty, hit the disk, and choose a file. Browse to where your iBoot ISO is saved, um, and you'll insert that into here. And then we'll go ahead and hit OK, and we'll hit Start, and we'll go ahead and start the virtual machine. So it'll run virtual machine it will come up with the iBoot ISO here so that is what you should see here and so when that comes up what you want to do is right click on the disk and choose a disk file and then you'll want to find your Snow Leopard install ISO um, and insert that and then to refresh it is uh, it is F5 uh, once you have it inserted make sure and then it should come and say Mac OS X install DVD so on that just hit enter and it will load up the uh, Apple logo here and then it should load us up into the installation so just give it a moment to load up and here we go to where we can select the uh, language so at the first part here so um, everything should work with mouse and keyboard right off the bat uh, so go ahead and pick your language and hit the arrow it will say preparing installation and now we are at the first setup screen. Uh, what we want to do first is uh, we will need to format the hard disk. So we'll go up to utilities at the top here and hit disk utility. And then go click on where your uh, virtual hard disk should say VBox hard disk over here. And then uh, you'll want to go to the erase tab. 
uh, leave the format as Mac OS Extended Journal, then you can name it whatever you want. Usually just because of how it did it before at times, I just rename it to uh, Macintosh HD. Um, but just make sure that you have the format as Mac OS Extended Journal, name whatever you'd like and hit erase. And then it will come up with a warning. Go ahead and hit erase again, and it will do some partitioning of the drive and it should create it right below here. Um, so that will be all we need to do there. So we can go ahead and quit the disk utility. And now we can continue. We'll come up with a license agreement here. Go ahead and hit agree. And then uh, now it'll have you pick where you want to install it. Just make sure that's selected. Um, if you go to customize here, you can uh, check some other things um, on this. Uh, if you want to install QuickTime and Rosetta, otherwise everything else should typically be checked uh, for that. Uh, and we can hit install. And now we'll start the installation process to get it installed on the hard drive. This will take quite some time here uh, on this. The timer on here says about 30 minutes. Um, that actually can be correct. Uh, this does take quite a while. So um, just let it sit and do its thing. It will uh, run through the installation then, and then it should come up with a green check at the end, or it should tell us that it's installed successfully and will end up rebooting. Um, so just let it run through the install process here. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do here, of course. And then I will be back with you guys once uh, this is finished and we hit to our uh, reset point. All right, so I uh, came to the screen here with the install succeeded here. That's gonna ask us to reboot so we can hit that. And then it should come up with that message to reboot. So what we will do now is uh, we'll need to go back down to the disk down here and reinsert the iBoot ISL. Um, and if this comes up, just hit force unmount. Um, and then it should insert the uh, iBoot ISO. So now what we can do is go up to machine and hit reset. And then it should come up with the bootloader here. Uh, just make sure to arrow uh, over to where it highlights Macintosh HD or whatever you named your hard drive um, and then hit enter. And it should boot into your uh, hard drive and should load up the Apple logo again and then once that all comes up and everything that should get us to the setup uh, rest of the setup here so we'll let this uh, load up and we'll see if that comes up here So it will continue to load here. This could take some time. Uh, so I'm gonna pause here and then once the setup screen comes up, we'll come back. All right, so here we are on the uh, welcome screen here. It will play the intro music and uh, have a voice come on for voiceover, but obviously for uh, copyright purposes, I have made sure to exclude that out here, but I uh, will ask your country or region here, just make sure to select that as you need, hit continue, uh, select your keyboard, hit continue. Uh, just do don't transfer my information and hit continue. Um, you can skip the Apple ID by hitting continue and also this by hitting continue twice. And so now it will ask us to create a user account here. So I'm just gonna type in a um, full name there and uh, account name here. And I do believe it requires a password. So you will need to enter one in there. So I will do as such. And then uh, put in a random hit or whatever, and then hit continue. It will create your account. And then it will say connecting to Apple, um, but of course, nothing will uh, connect just due to the Uh, network services not being able to get through there. So uh, this part can take just a little bit of time, uh, but eventually should go through to the next portion. And next will be uh, setting your time zone. Uh, so you can do that as you need. 
make sure you have your right time zone, hit continue, and then that should be the final screen we'll hit. So just hit go. And it will get us to the setup screen here. Or the uh, desktop, if you want to call it. But there it is. Uh, everything is uh, here uh, as for like Safari, uh, Calendar, Preview, iTunes, all those things. And it uh, looks like it has been successfully installed. Um, and it will ask for the keyboard identification here. So you just go through and you type in the uh, keys that are to the right of the left shift and the left of the right shift. And then whichever one of those. And so there it is. Uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard has been installed. Um, so it's a lot simpler here than uh, before uh, for a previous one that I've attempted. But uh, that will conclude here. Uh, if that did help you guys out in any way or if you did enjoy this video, certainly can leave a like down below. Uh, if you have any com uh, ideas for any future videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, uh, you can certainly hit subscribe down below and you can hit the bell to be notified um, whenever I upload and to keep up to date on my content. Um, but that is my tutorial on how to install Mac OS X Snow Leopard in VirtualBox. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.